Wow, cool, man. Thanks for inviting me for this baseball game, dude. Come oh, on, man, I have some tickets. That's cool. I've never been to a baseball game before. This is pretty cool. Oh, look, cool. The peanut seller. Hey, yo, yo, get your peanuts here. Peanuts, 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 peanuts. Everybody wants hot peanuts in their mouth. Get no peanuts and stick it in their mouth and suck them. Anyone over here? Anyone over here? Anyone peanuts? Fresh hot peanuts. Come on, fresh. Put them in that side. Get them in your mouth. Hey, yo, pay guns. Hey, I'll take a bag of peanuts. <laughs> you want some peanuts, sir? Here, take some peanuts. Hey man, the fuck man, you just broke my friend's neck with these nuts! The fuck! Oh, you want peanuts too? Pay peanuts! <laughs> peanuts, peanuts, peanuts! Everybody loves peanuts! Hello everybody, it's me Nate aka Devil Dog and I'm back with another game review. This time I'm reviewing MLB The Show 2023. It was developed by San Diego Studios and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment and released on March 28th of 2023 on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, all Xbox systems and Nintendo Switch and does include crossplay, which is a fantastic addition. So as long as you have friends and you have your names of your friends on your system and you can contact them, you can link up and for some crossplay action in this title. Now, what exactly is MLB if you live under a rock? This is the 18th entry in the show series featuring what what else baseball honestly this is another thing i have to point out especially with sports games it seems like one company owns the rights to making uh stuff like you know for like basketball football baseball and for the most part some of them turn out pretty good each year while others uh, <coughs> uh are just uh cut and paste to suck your money away uh this one actually seems to be pretty darn good and don't get me wrong i'm not really a fan of baseball games but but it plays and it looks great now this thing is packed to the brim with all kinds of different features including diamond uh, diamond dynasty mode and the best way to describe diamond dynasty mode is it's, it's kind of like madden ultimate team or in fifa uh, where you pretty much have all kinds of different modes that you play through in order to earn points to get card packs that's right people card packs we all know how much i love busting open virtual cards in hopes of dropping some super rare character that you can add to your roster but yeah this is the one thing i don't like about games like this sports games in general but they all have it and it ain't going away but i can still say i don't like it uh diamond dynasty is fantastic other than the fact that the stupid card pack busting that you have to do next up is the road to the show where you create a player custom from the ground up and you can even import your face in and make them look just like you and have your name on them and you take this player you get to pick what you want him to do to be like a batter a pitcher uh you know first second third base and you know and all that and you play games and stuff and get this character to rise to the top so he can end up getting recruited into the top team and end up going all the way to the World Series and winning it. Uh, next up is Home Run Derby, which is kind of self-explanatory. It's a Home Run Derby. You just see how many home runs you can hit. Um, and along with that, they have something they've been working on that is really the bread and butter, uh, well, really that they put their heart and soul into this year, and it is the storyline mode. And this one, I have to say, is very intriguing, very informative, and fun to play. And it's where you go and you learn and you get to play 
from the best players from the Negro Leagues. It even includes actual footage of the games of these people and has some really cool narration along with it. The best way to describe this mode is to me, it reminds me of the WWE 2K3 uh, games where they have the, uh, uh, the, the storyline like this one was with John Cena and it actually has you play through uh, their highlights of their career and actually cuts the actual footage and back. It's kind of similar to that and uh, honestly it's quite impressive. You have to go through in a certain order and unlocking the next ones. So it kind of reminds me of that mode from WWE 2K23. Uh, now along with those modes you also have a bunch more including exhibition, you have practice mode, you have a challenge of the week which uh, honestly it changes each week. It could be anything from striking out so many people, hitting home runs or you know catching people off guard and tagging them out when they're trying to steal bases. You know they mix it up it's actually pretty good um, but the main bread and butter of this series has to be the online co-op mode now this one actually has a pretty good amount of content in it though it is missing some things first up you have your standard two versus two mode you have your three versus three mode and you can also play diamond dynasty mode but it's ranked co-op only now, along with that, you also can have your custom leagues and even do the home run, uh, home run derby. So that's pretty darn cool, actually. It would have been nice to see if they had had like, some of the other um, uh, modes that you could play online. Um, but you know what? They still allow you to do quite a lot with the online mode with this. It's quite robust. Um, so I can't really complain. I have to say, hands down, uh, the online I played with was uh, with some people uh, on a Switch and a couple people I know on Xbox. And it, it worked great. I had no issues with it at all, and it was actually fun. And I have to say, for a you know, baseball game, it's actually very fun. I mean, you can control any character. Uh, it's very easy. It's a, a button map to your buttons. To like, if you want to throw the ball to like third base, you, you'd hit, at least on a PlayStation, hit the square button. You know, so the buttons correspond to what bases. And then, you know, like when you're, uh, uh, you, know, you know, batting, it's very easy to control the batter to pick what kind of swing you want to do. And same as the pitcher. Honestly, it's uh, rather streamlined. And uh, you can also at any time hold the trigger button down and bring up a whole new list of options if you like, want to switch out pitch. Or, or do other things as well. So it is rather robust and does give you a, a lot of good options for a really good playing baseball simulator. Uh, but here's the thing. Here's the thing that uh, I have to point out. I've been rather non-biased and really generous and nice with my review on this title, but now here we go. This game has microtransactions in it. And we all know how I love microtransactions. Much like what you heard me say early on about the Diamond Dynasty mode of busting open virtual card packs to get uh, character cards to add them to your roster and stuff like that. Oh, look, I got a diamond, triple diamond version of blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, uh, this game has it. Eh, it's not really majorly bad because, like I said, it's mainly focused on when you're creating your own, um, you know, your own league and also the diamond dynasty mode but um you have to buy the packs with either points you earn in game uh which i think is kind of adequate how they give you enough but i think they got it set just right to where yeah you can grind in this game and get enough with the stubs as they're called to buy these packs but they got it set just right to where it kind of pushes you into the door to go hey man you could grind for an hour and a half to get this for a pack or you can just give us 9.99 and we sell you a bunch of stubs now they don't I don't think they sell you packs, but they sell you stubs out the ass. I mean, you know, you you know, twenty nine 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 for thirty five thousand stubs. Give us your money for your stubs now. That would be bad enough, okay, which I'm never a fan of in-game currencies that you use real-world money to buy in order to buy in-game items that aren't real. But the thing that bothers me is they even have a trophy locked behind this. That's right. MLB The Show 2023 has the audacity to have a trophy locked behind the fact that you have to trade uh, a diamond card um, on their marketplace with somebody else in 
in order to get the trophy. And that's uh, one thing that is required to be able to get the platinum in the game. So if you're a trophy hunter, please keep that in mind, which really pisses me off. Now, yes, technically, you don't have to spend any real money. You can actually grind the game and get lucky enough to get a card pack drop that you can then go and use and trade on their little virtual store in order to get the trophy. But I don't like it when games I don't like it when games do this. It actually quite makes me angry, but I, that will be a rant for a later time. I'm not going to do a rant on this because honestly, overall, if I take everything in the context of the overall quality of the game, how well it plays, how good it looks, the creative player is fantastic, uh, the, the face scanning technology, which is similar to WWE 2K, um, honestly works great you can make a character that looks just like you the amount of options and the amount of uh, content in this game is well worth the price now keep in mind if you're playing it on last gen systems it's ten dollars cheaper so it's like the fifty to sixty dollars if you're playing it on current gen systems like the ps5 and the xbox series x and s it is seventy dollars that is not including if you bought the uber version which i think can go for up to a hundred dollars that comes with a different screen on it and some other bonuses and some perks and some stubs, stubs, and, and some extra card packs added in. But you know how they do that with these sports games, people. Every single one of them seems to do that. But I will say, out of all the sports games I have played, this one is top tier in terms of the overall playability, the graphics, the, the, uh, the gameplay itself, and the fact that there's so much options and so much content in this um, doesn't make it feel like too much of a cash grab for me other than the in-game microtransactions of buying stubs for card packs uh now if madden would step up to the freaking plate and actually take some time off and make their game better maybe i wouldn't hate them so much but in the end that is just my own personal opinion now can i recommend mlb the show 2023 if you're a huge fans of baseball simulation games or just love playing baseball online this is a fantastic game it really is as long as you ain't worried about that stupid ass uh, stubs that you need for busting open card packs um honestly that's the only downfall i see to this title other than the price being a little high but in the end for all the content you get and how fun it plays i actually can recommend mlb the show 2023 this was nate aka devil dog and i want to thank each and every single one of you for watching this video please leave in the comments below if you feel i've left something out or if there's, you just want to leave a message that i will respond to give me a thumbs up if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and of course of course here at devil dog gaming we always end our videos by saying have fun, play hard, and remember people, the devil is in the details. Peace out until next time.